Three years ago, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez shook up the political landscape in New York and nationally when she was elected. I mean, who can forget that viral moment of me interviewing her the moment she realized she won the Democratic primary. Now the representative has a growing cast of like-minded allies in Congress. And as Washington Bureau reporter Kevin Fry tells us, they're poised to exert their influence on the president's agenda. <laughs> It was a moment that rocked the political world. Little known insurgent Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez besting longtime Congressman Joe Crawley in the Democratic primary and going on to represent the Bronx and Queens on Capitol Hill. Nearly three years later, the Congresswoman's sphere of young progressive colleagues from New York has grown. Jamal Bowman and Mondaire Jones, both candidates she endorsed, joining the ranks. There is something to be said about the fact that New York is a progressive nexus in the House of Representatives in terms of the congressional delegation that we're sending. Um, it's next level. Over the first few months of this term, Ocasio-Cortez and Bowman have frequently teamed up, pushing to fund an anti-gun violence program at Jacoby Hospital in the Bronx <laughs> and criticizing Israel during its deadly conflict with the Palestinians in May. Bowman is the first male member of the so-called squad, which began with AOC and three other young progressive congresswomen. I love AOC. I love being a member of the squad. Jones and Ocasio-Cortez are also close, an alliance that was clear when they took center stage together at a Capitol rally to extend the federal ban on evictions. The demonstration ended when the Biden White House took further action to help renters. Ocasio-Cortez argues the expanding progressive circle has had an impact, including during COVID relief negotiations this year. I don't even think stimulus checks would happen without the election of individuals like Representative Jones and, and Bowman adding to the ranks of very vocal progressives. But now comes the big test. If they choose, this progressive cohort could exert a great deal of influence in the coming weeks as lawmakers determine the fate of President Joe Biden's Build Back Better agenda. Ocasio-Cortez recently threatened to vote against a bipartisan infrastructure bill after moderate Democratic Senator Joe Manchin called for tapping the brakes on a far larger $3.5 trillion spending plan that includes climate and health care spending. She wants the two linked together. Jones agrees. I have great difficulty seeing how we do everything we need to do, including on the scale of what we need to do. Uh, if it is less than $3.5 trillion. Now, with the House so closely divided, the votes of Ocasio-Cortez and her expanded group of allies could be make or break for Biden. In Washington, Kevin Fry, New York One.